Hello and welcome to a Theros Block Constructed Daily event. Finally, I've been trying to uh, join these for a while now, but since they, you know, starting uh, specific times, it's been hard to me with my routine of work and study. Uh, but yeah, well, this hand is okay. I mean, double prognostics things are not great right now, but they will eventually, especially since I did draw into an island now. Alright, get out of here, mountain. I don't want you. Let's see if there's anything we want to magma jet on turn two. See if there isn't. Alright. So, let's play the other temple here and get rid of the Sphinx, too. So, we are apparently playing against Naya deck here. I haven't really been keeping up with you know every single deck in the block format. I built this particular deck here that I'm playing to try and beat the red green decks that have been the the boogie of the format for a while now. Let's see if I managed to to do that. I could have played the spell hard chimera there, but I think I would rather aim the magma jet at, at his face to try and, and what's that? Alright, Xenagus. Okay, so I guess I get to Magma Jet his creature here. Uh, no, I don't really want Traveler's Amulet right now. So I think I may just go ahead and play the Spellheart Chimera now, even though. It's probably gonna get, you know, removed. Shall see, right? I mean, at least it's a 1 3. I get to block his token. <clears throat> if he doesn't have the removal spell. But yeah, he does. Alright. So he's gonna make a token. Attack me and next turn I'm gonna untap and play a prognostic sphinx. I mean I actually kinda like my chances from there. I mean of course he can always play you know an Elspeth before I do. It's gonna be pretty annoying, but oh well. What matters is I am still at twenty. Let's hope he doesn't play oh he's gonna play anything something else there. Alright, Virgin Seder. No problem. Ooh, that's my Elspeth. So he's probably gonna play his own Elspeth next turn. <clears throat> Let's hope that does not happen. Because I do wanna play mine. He's probably gonna plus one his Xenagos now so that it doesn't die when I attack it. Let's see. I hope he does not have an Elspeth. <clears throat> I really like the you know synergy between Prognostic Sphinx, which is a great flyer, and Elspeth, which destroys creatures with power four greater. Yeah, well, I mean, could block, but then he would play the the removal spell, right? The three mana one. I think I'm just gonna take. It's mass removal, so I cannot discard something to give hexproof to my guy. So. See what he does. I'm thinking he's gonna play an Elspeth. <clears throat> Alright, Paul Kranos. Maybe he's gonna forget to plus one his enemies, but yeah, probably not, right? <clears throat> yeah. So he added three mana. Oh, I see. That's what he wanted to do then. Try and fight my creature with his polychron, but then I would just discard a card. I mean, it's annoying to do so, but what can I do, right? So, what do I do here? Uh, if I actually, 
I mean, he should attack, definitely attack in his, his Xenagos. And the thing is, if I play an Elspeth, and alright, I do want to change the rocks. If I make three tokens with the Elspeth, then what happens is he plays his mass removal spell and attacks my Elspeth. Then he's going to lose a bunch of creatures too, so I'm not that worried about that. And I have a Steam Augury and the removal spell coming, so I'm okay just doing this. He could also, of course, yeah, I did not, did not think of that. Let's see, he has, yeah, he can just fight my three soldier tokens and, man. Yeah, that's gonna be kinda harsh. So apparently I should have just gone ahead and destroyed all creatures with power four less and not attacked with my prognostic swings. Seems like an idea. Sorry about the the potential misplay here since you know like I said I haven't been really playing the format so the synergies here the little Little things often escape me, but that's gonna get better soon, I promise. So he is thinking what to do here. I mean, what is there to think, right? You just go for it, you. Pump your Apollo Kranos? Yep. I believe that's exactly what's going to happen. On the plus side, I get to. Uh, destroy his planeswalker. <clears throat> and he also gets to you know play a prognostic sphinx and play also a removal spell to deal with his polyphrenus, so it's so gonna end up being fine to me I guess. And I think I don't play a a mountain next turn so that I get to keep a card in my hand to discard f to you know for a prognostic sphinx if I need to. And I don't really need a mountain right now. Yeah, Polo Kranos is a very powerful one. <clears throat> He's thinking of doing something else, and I wonder what is that. At least he does not attack me, right? Oh, I see. Yeah, that's definitely annoying. So he's gonna hit the Elspeth with that guy and hit me for eight. Maybe just hit me for a bunch. I mean, if he has a removal spell in hand, I mean, a, a combat trick, I mean, a direct damage spell in hand, then things should be fine, I think. That's Dex Xenagos here. He has one card in hand. Alright, well, I guess we can keep both of these there. Killing his Xenagos, then playing a Sphinx, and then playing a Change the Rocks. Uh, this is the target. Let's get rid of all of my enemies, sure. Boom Satyr is a very annoying card against my deck. We shall see what happens. I mean, probably just chomping his guy here. I suppose. This is. If I don't, any direct damage spell can kill me here. And he should just attack with his team, right? Yeah, but he's not doing it. Alright.
Alright, his own health path. So yeah, now I think I'm screwed. Let's see what my deck gives me. Not like that though. This. Alright, there's my own health path. It's probably gonna give me the <laughs> the other pile there. No, he did give me the house path. That's interesting. So I'm dead, right? I think I I'm just dead here. I mean I get to chump this thing and you know target something else with this. Take four damage. Go down to four. And I guess I can hang on here for a while. Let's see what he does. I need to block here. And I get to destroy that guy. He probably has a direct damage spell though, right? To just go ahead and kill me. I mean, one wouldn't do. Alright, Voyage is in. So if I make three tokens, three, four, five, six, I make three tokens, block one, two, three, take exactly four, yeah. Alright, well, let's bring in what the curse would define. Perforous, Hammer of Perforous, and the Peak Eruptions. Yeah, lots of stuff to bring in, right? So I'm gonna take out the Magma Jets. They're not that good. I may take out Chain to the Rocks just, just because he's gonna be bringing Peak Eruptions. And Grip Tide. Get to take out a steam augury or two. I could take out my spell hard chimeras also. I think I'm not gonna bring in the hammer though. Right now I'm bringing in bees. I can take out one traveler's amulet to bring in either the other curse of the swine or the perforous. Perforous is not necessarily that good against him. I mean, he does combo very well with Elspeth, but I think maybe it's better for me to just bring in the, the hammer or the other curse. I'm not sure, to be perfectly honest. Alright, I think I'll leave things as is. Let's see. Let's just play first. And yes, this hand is acceptable since we do have, you know, perfect mana here and we get to scry with this thing. He went down to six. Alright, this, yeah, I guess I'll allow it. Even though maybe too late if he has some sort of acceleration here. Well, I mean, not really, right? Since he's gonna play the accelerate, accelerate now, and then I'll have mana up for the solve next turn. Alright, well. Let's play a nylon, I guess. And I guess he could play a Spellheart Chimera since he won't be able to destroy one of my lands. Yeah, let's play it already. I don't think there's a lot of 3 mana cards here that I would really like to counter, so. Alright. Uh, well, let's play a mountain. And say go. See what he chooses to do here. He may play a Polochronos, but he may also destroy, try to destroy my land. 
Although in in a situation such as this one, I guess I would just rather uh all oh, right, maybe a dragon, right? Yeah, that is not going to happen. And Steam Mogri is okay, especially with a Spellheart Chimera in play. So we're gonna play the Prognostic Sphinx and attack. Feeling good about this particular game here. Next turn we get to Steam Mogri and hopefully leave men open for a Voyages in. We shall see. Of course, we depend on what he does. And maybe if I don't want to risk it, if I really need to bounce something, I could play the second spare hard chimera attack because this thing here is like a pseudo <laughs> steam augury, right? You can rearrange the top of my library to virtually draw me cards since you can get rid of cards that I wouldn't have a, a use to right now. Alright, that's probably a Polo Kranos. Sure. Let's see what I draw here. Mountain, sure. So, let's do this. Alright. Let's see, I guess we get to be a little bit greedy with our prognostic, second prognostic Sphinx here because he's likely to give us the lightning strike this way. And we kind of want the lightning strike. Alright, that's exactly what he did. So he can play a mountain, destroy let's see, one, one, two, three, one. Yeah, he he won't be able to activate his polo planners for a bunch here. So we should just go ahead and lightning strike this thing. And then we get to attack. Alright, I don't want this. I do not want this, but I do want to dissolve it. Since depending on what he does here, you know, having a counter spell in hand would be pretty awesome for us, I, I would say. And not play anything, sure. It's good news, I guess. Attack. See if he has anything to do here. All right, peak eruption could deal three damage to his face. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna keep it on top. He's at seven, which means that by merely uh, dissolving a spell he plays here, I get to kill him next turn. All right, there we go. Getting to play for us is a huge game here, it must be said. Maybe I could bring in Hope Vital on to play on top of my Sphinxes to gain some life if I need to. Especially on, on, the, on, the, on the draw here like I am. Uh, what would I take out? Maybe one Peak Eruption? Maybe one spell heart chimera. Maybe steam augury. Maybe even a lightning strike. I think we we'll take out one lightning strike. Let's bring in a hope for Eidolon. A single tone Eidolon, just just in case we end up needing it. All right. This is an awkward hand, but I think I'm gonna keep it because I get to scry with this thing and. I have mana from, for Elspeth, which is a card that I think wins me this game, could win me this game, and to be perfectly honest, this deck does not mulligan all that well. The mana base is not that good, so I think I'm gonna take this. I guess if I have, if I had a more robust mana, mana base here, I would probably just go ahead and, alright, there's an island. I would probably just go ahead and mull. Alright, don't wanna dissolve right now since. I won't have double blue to play it, chances are. Alright, where just end is fine. Now I won't have a mountain on the battlefield for him to destroy with 
his LD spell if he has it. Alright, he didn't play anything. Oh, that's just gorgeous. Let's hope he is mana screwed and, <laughs> and simply did not. I mean, and, and didn't simply F6 it his turn by mistake. Yeah, he is mana screwed. Awesome. So, let's go ahead and play the Chimera here. I found a land. We definitely have an advantage here. Ooh, Elspeth next turn. That's gonna be saucy. If we place some accelerant right now, we're definitely bouncing it and just playing Elspeth next turn. Alright, I did not have an accelerant. Alright, double voyages and makes me pretty confident in my <laughs> ability to actually win this game here. Let's go ahead and play an Elspeth. I think this might be pretty tough for him to beat. He could, you know, double uh, direct damage it, you know. I think that's what he's gonna do, probably. Oh no, he just destroyed my Chimera. Sure. Alright. Blair of Heresy. That's a fine card that I. Don't have my sideboard. Well, let's keep attacking then. There, here comes the Polochronus, like a thought. Let's play a Voyages. No island, I do not want to right now. Alright, Steam Augury is perfect for us. Let's play it already. Okay, well, I guess, yeah, I could use an Elspeth. And a Hammer of Perforce would definitely mean trouble for him right now. So if he wants to give me an Elspeth, then that's fine. And if he wants, me to, if he wants to give me a Hammer, that's fine too. So let's play this, I think. I mean, is it cool for us to just play a hammer? Perhaps. Yeah, we could play go hammer, traveler's amulet. Seems fine by me. We can definitely bounce his his polychronos during our turn. Maybe he has a Xenagus. Yeah, that's a Xenagus. No matter. Ooh, we should have used this. Anyway, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sack a land. Make a guy. We're gonna go look for another land here. And after that, we're gonna do this. Alright, then I do want. Since it's gonna have haste next turn, so let's play this. Uh, let's attack Xenagos to kill it and deal 3 damage to his face because chances are he's just gonna be dead next turn anyway, so. Let's make it a bit harder for him to make a lot of blockers. We have a lot of ways to win, right? We can void the Zen, this creature, we can just draw the card and play it and, and attack with everything. We should see what happens here. But I'm pretty positive I did win this one. Alright, there we are, he conceded. 
see you around soon.